Hi everyone, it's Kim here. Um, I first want to apologize up front. I get my dog is hearing something out in the front, my front yard, and she's been barking all morning. I can't get her to stop, so we'll get to hear her barking during the video. Lovely, right? Okay, so I was sitting down and I was handwriting an envelope. Um, I made a card for my girlfriend, and I thought, oh my gosh, there's so many cute writing fonts on the Cricut Design Space. I wonder if I could just um, use that. Well. I did. I figured it out and I'm going to show you how to do it. I love sharing things like this. You may already know this, but it's fun to share. All right. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and create an envelope. Um, the envelope that I'm using is actually five and three quarters by four and a quarter. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, create a pretend envelope for just a minute. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to do the width as 5.5 um, and the height as 4.25. So there's my pretend envelope. Now I want to write on this. So I want to go ahead and change the color of the envelope. So I'm going to click on layers, click on the square, and make it white. All right. I'm going to bring that right up over here for just a minute. You'll see why in a minute. Then I'm going to add my text and I'm going to say it's from me. And I'm going to say my name is Kimmy. And then I'm going to do, uh, I live at 123 Main Street. Bring that down. And I live in the town of Disneyland, <laughs> California. 9512. I don't even know what the zip code is, so I'll just pretend. Okay. And bring that down. All right. I don't want it to be this big because this is my return address. So I'm going to click on Kimmy, click on edit. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is just highlight the whole everything and then come down to the height and the width and everything and start adjusting it down. There's 2.0. That's not going to be small enough. Let's go to 1.75. Still not small enough. Okay, let's do 1.0. And I don't like the height in between these two. So I'm going to bring it up individually. Okay, now I need to do the return address. Oh, by the way, this is the... Um, the font type is called Dear John, which is my favorite, not one, uh, yeah, I guess it is my favorite font. It's a writing style font, so you'd want to click on writing style and then go into the, the writing style fonts from there. Okay, so let's go back. Let's do our return address. And this is going to go to Mickey Mouse. And let's get that so that I'm spelling it correctly. All right, and we're just going to say he lives in Disneyland because this is taking too long. All right, same thing. I want to reduce the size so that it all fits on there. And I'm going to bring that down to, let's highlight the whole thing. It's okay that we move that. And highlight the whole thing. And bring it down to, what did I do the other one at? 1.5. Now let's do 1.0, see where that takes us. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's bring this envelope back. This is just our pretend envelope, right? And that'll be like that. Now I have to get rid of the envelope because if I try to go on the on the mat, it will um, try to cut first. So let's go ahead and cut, uh, cut. Let's go ahead and delete the envelope. And then we're gonna move our images right up here in this corner because I'm physically going to put an envelope on my, I'm using a blue mat and it's gonna write on the envelope for me. Just adjusting where I want all this stuff because so the regular envelope will just be, you know, that size there. And judging it like this. And there we go. Now this has to be attached or it'll come up on the mat all wonky. So I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, go to layers and attach it, and let's go to the cutting mat and I'll show you what it looks like. Like I said, I'm gonna put my envelope right here 
and I'll show you what it turns out like. I'm going to go ahead and, and print it and then um, you can see what it's all about. So let's go to the craft mat. Alrighty, so here it is. That's exactly how I put it on the mat and that's how it printed out. Um, next time I think I will try to spread out the uh, letters a little bit more and you can do that. That's one of the functions you can do. But literally, that's the envelope. Is that so cool? All right, so I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space and we're going to do a Cricut Design Space envelope where you can write on it. All right, so let's do a Cricut Design Space envelope. Um, here is, I'm going to say envelope. Oops, my spelling today. And I like this one with the scallop edges. That one's from Classically Modern. Insert on my mat. Um, I happen to know that in order to make an A2 size envelope from one of these, you would go ahead and um, make the width to be 8.0. Don't mess with the height, it'll adjust itself. I don't want to write on the liner, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to move this to the side. Now I'm going to be writing on this. So let's add a text and we're going to say this is to Santa Claus. Um, now, oh, I spelled that wrong. Gosh, my I need to go back to school. Actually, I know how to spell Santa Claus correctly. I just didn't type it right. Um, the brain's not talking to the hands. I'm not going to go through the whole thing like I did at the beginning of the video with typing the address here and all that. Um, you'll be able to do that now that I've showed you how to do that. Um, now, if I don't attach this, it's going to make it's going to write randomly in the whole thing. You know, it's better that I just show you. Um, so it's going to cut the envelope, then it's going to cut the liner, and then it's just going to randomly write this word. So we don't want to do that. So let's click on the X. I'm going to highlight just the envelope. Um, I want it to be aligned, so I'll click on Align, and I'm going to center it horizontally. Then I'm going to come over to Layers, and I'm going to attach it. And let's go to the cutting mat to see how this goes. There it is. So for this particular image, I've done this before, what it does is it scores first. So you want to put your score pen in first, then you want to switch out and put your pen in uh, right away. And um, then it will write the, the words, and then it'll cut it for you. It's amazing. I, this Cricut Design Space, there's endless things you can do with this. So I'm going to click on X because um, I'm not actually going to cut this and do all this, this as part of this video. I think that you might have an idea. If for some reason you need me to, just leave a comment and I can add more information on it. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope this is helpful. I was thinking about doing this for my Christmas cards this year instead of handwriting them all out. Um, I usually send out about 50 cards. I know I'm not crazy, but how cool it would be that I could just type everything. Um, I could also save the addresses if I wanted to do that. And then each year I would be able to just click on that address, type up the envelope and, you know, make it real easy. And so thank you, Ashish Aurora, for and your gang for making things so awesome for us. Have a great day.